Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to screenshot your desktop. Check it out. And of course, if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We do a lot of how to videos, tutorial videos, and videos just like this one. There are two different methods that we're going to look at today to uh, take a screenshot of your desktop. First one is the old school print screen method. You click the button on the keyboard, go into like a Microsoft Paint program or any other uh, photo or uh, painting program and paste it in there and then you can go through and crop it from there. Uh, the newest one that they have and that's been around since Windows Vista is called the snipping tool and we'll look at that and we'll show you how to use uh, each one of these. So we're going to start with the print screen method. As you can see here, you've got the desktop and once you hit print screen, you're not going to see anything happen on the actual screen itself. But if you were to navigate by going into Windows Paint or whatever program you use and then do Control V, you will notice that it's going to paste whatever screenshot that you just took. So whether it be a, a game or whether it be like a, uh, a Facebook message that you wanted to take a capture of or anything that you really wanted to take a screenshot of on your desktop will be uh, pasted into the Paint program. If you do have a multi-monitor setup, this is a perfect time that you can see that it will capture the entire, all three screens as you can see here. It might be a little bit hard to tell, but you can see there's a split here indicating one screen. And then you can see that there's another split here where I have my OBS software on here uh, recording this audio. So um, the other method is, and then of course you can come up here and you can crop it and you can paint it and do whatever you need to and uh, save it as a JPEG image. So go up and click save as, and then you can save it anything that you want there. The second method, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. The second method, like I said, was introduced in Windows Vista and it is called the snipping tool. You may have to go into the start menu, go into uh, PC programs or Windows programs, um, or if you're on Windows 8 and above, you can click on the start menu and then just type in snipping. And you can see right here, snipping tool desktop app. Go ahead and left click on that. And you'll see a little tiny interface come up. It's not very big, but you have a few different options in here. You can click on new and you can do freeform, rectangular, window, full screen snip. So you can kind of play around with that depending on what kind of snip that you want to take. Delay, if you have to, if you have to open up a menu that you're trying to get a, a, snip, a screenshot of a menu, you can put a couple second delay on there that gives you time for the snipping tool to start, but for you to get your mouse over to another screen, open that menu so then you can take a screenshot of it. And of course, if you click on that, you can go all the way from zero to five seconds. So uh, cancel, it does exactly what it does. It cancels the snip and then options. If you go into here, you can actually put in here ink color, red, copy snips to the clipboard, hide instruction text. You can just go in there and play around with those settings. There's really not much in there and you probably won't spend a whole lot of time in there but that is an option for you. So to do this, all you got to do is click on new. As you can see, the screen will go kind of to a faded gray. And what this does is it's indicating that the snip tool is ready to take a snip. Now, if you happen to have the window of this, the interface for the snipping tool on the window that you're taking a capture of, if you notice, you'll see a little cross in place of your mouse. If you just click it anywhere on the screen, that window will disappear and it will capture anything that you have designated with a, with that uh, cursor. So as you can see, I just took a smaller image of the desktop. And uh, so if you just want to get a small section of maybe like a contact information, or like I said, a menu, you can use the snipping tool to get that little information. Uh, cool thing about snipping tool is if you're using it for like Google Slides or um, PowerPoint presentations, any type of program uh, that you can use like that, you can actually just paste it directly into it. Otherwise, once again, you can come up to file, save it, uh, send it, copy it, tools, you can highlight things on it, red pen, you can have different type of pen colors, eraser, and you can go in through and just kind of edit it like as if you were to edit in the paint, pro paint program. As always, thank you for watching that tech tip. If you loved it, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. Leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We will see you next time.